starting from Asian America and expand beyond the whole population of the United States. If you want to go fast, fly alone. If you want to go far, fly together. Join us. The idea is to train the next generation to get involved in civic service. Getting together, find one other person to speak, or invite some some speakers on every subject. They're providing election, providing appointments and providing how to move up within the government. You want to become a leader, so you just need those kind of the, uh, motivation. And uh, so that program is providing a tool to get there. One of the most important things that can happen is that when people learn what's going on, they go back to their communities and inform their constituents and friends about what's going on in Washington. Their influence on policies of the United States it relates uh, to Asians around the world. Have now built this organization into something like 23 chapters across the country. We would like to have a great United States of America. <laughs> Sandy. And he wants us to put up the last slide, so, so here we go. The last one. No, no. Uh, no, before that. Oh, this one. This yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, this one. Finish direction. This one. So, so, so basically, we, we, I, I would really appreciate it if, uh, well, Don San is here. And then the, uh, we have a slide for you. But anyway, and anyway, so therefore, uh, uh, <laughs> let, 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 let me just don't give Don, Don a big, big hang. A uh, clap of a uh, uh, big clap, <clears throat> because uh, Dawson uh, consistently, like uh, consistently, uh, believe to represent and the, the interest of the community, and uh, he becomes a uh, planning commissioner sometime, and then he trains a lot of other people to get appointed in the commissioner. And then he also have his own uh, internship programs and involvement program. And then he also work very diligently to help a lot of people get elected. So therefore, it's a continual effort by Don. And then his uh, organization is trying, uh, is basically, it's a youth development and youth uh, leadership. So because of some mix up and then he wasn't here. And then I'm making conclusions that I, I, I speak for Don, and then Don will be here to, uh, next, next uh, tomorrow. And then uh, uh, I, I, I would be very, very appreciative of today because uh, this is a privilege of, of mine, and I talk to everybody, and then we feel the energy of this room. I think that, and the intensity of this room 
because everybody is attentive and everybody actually have so much thing to give. And then I would say it will be uh, uh, like Vincent had uh, repeat what I said. It's just when we're getting together, okay, I'm going to talk about an um, popular thing uh, in, in California of recent happening. We're just like gathering and then the, the, you can feel the, the flame, the power of a fire. And I think it's us, when we leave from today, everybody is a torch that you will bring back to your community and shine for everyone. So I think this is the, uh, this is what I use uh, for my uh, uh, school, <coughs> a university leadership training in China. Uh, in Chinese, Zhu is a fire, so therefore, basically, everybody will just will be the sparkle of the world when you go back because, because it's so exciting. Because every one of you are really can spark and really shine in every place that you can start something uh, everywhere. So therefore, it is a privilege. And also, at the same time, I feel there's more than the energy that everybody radiates, it is the eagerness of everyone want to absorb as much to improve. When I was in business, I would be so happy when I see the founders, no matter how old or no matter how experienced or even young, they're so eager to learn and so eager to improve. And that, I would say, that I can see a successful company. But however, when I see the group of management feel so content, they say, I already conquered the world. And then I don't, I really learn everything, I know the law. That is just become very sad for me. It's because that's the beginning of their downfall. So therefore, basically, it's us. Every, everyone, the world is changing. Every day, we have to learn how to survive in this new world. So therefore, together, I think that exchange, there must be something good about somebody else that can compensate your witness, or somebody can absorb what the new world is being, and again can help you that we can march together in unison. So again, it's fly together. So therefore, basically, what I will see is as I can see for today, everybody say their concern. Uh, in order to have strong influence in in the government, we need to get elected. Before we can get elected, you need people to support you. And then you need people to be counted. They know what's going on. You need army of people. So therefore, we have to start from the very, very beginning. And this is what we mean about we prepare voters. <clears throat> Ariane has shown us the potential voters because we have to need to develop the voters. Then we need to develop the campaign workers. People are interested in supporting. And then we have to develop knowledge about campaigning. We have to develop ability and past histories. And then we need to develop confidence. Like if you go to a party, 14 out of 16 will get elected. So that's very important. So therefore, a lot of those things we need to interchange. And then so therefore, we're talking about the pipeline. We need pipeline. We need pipeline to, to have the youth uh, at an early age, get prepared. So therefore, when they have several decades of, a uh, couple decades of uh, experience, they can move up from 16 years old at school board all the way to city 
and then the state and the federal all the way to the White House. So therefore, we need to do all that kind of things. That means different pathways. We need people get involved. We need people get to be counted. That means they have to register to vote. For the permanent residency, they need, they need to get into the citizens to be citizens and to register and to be aware, to be educated, and then to get, get involved, to participate, and then make some influence. And then to work on a certain people are good in finance, certain people are good on, on uh, walking the precinct, and certain people are, are able to, uh, to do a lot of things in order to get one person to get elected. I know Andy. Andy prepared for three years. I know Andrew. Andrew prepared for three years. Not only they, before they announce even running, they are already helping their own community, own ethnic group. They're also helping the general public. I know Andrew help out the different ethnic groups. I think Andy did that too. Because you're not running just because of a special interest group, you're running for the whole district. So therefore, those pipelines, those things had to be prepared. So therefore, I think it's us forge partnership and collaboration among local government and community. Community is important. I want to. Uh, I was very moved by Andy here, and Andy say, "This is the citizen day to go out." All citizens should show up. This is uh, law enforcement day. This is fire uh, fighters day. Participate. You want to be in the mainstream of the United States, and then you contribute to the mainstream of the United States. So therefore, be involved with local government, help the local government, and then be in your own community at the same time, be with the general community. And it is so important because in such a case, if you strengthen the community in civil participation and promote <coughs> collaboration in local, regional, and national level, you will get there. So therefore, uh, thanks, uh, Anthony. So basically, uh, thank you to writing my speech. 